guys so this is a quit your job update you guys who have been with me know that I quit my job what has it been now I have to really look on the calendar I think we're hitting around what the six month mark at this point and I have been seeing your questions and your requests for me to bring back this series and it didn't go anywhere but you guys know I moved abroad so there's a lot going on in my life right now but um, this is like a huge part of my new life and my new lifestyle so I want to go ahead and just give an update about what has been going on and what I'm up to. When I first quit my job I was like oh my gosh I quit my job <laughs> and even though I was really confident in it because I know I have so many talents and skills and I could always go teach anywhere they need teachers all over the world really um so i knew it was something that i can pick up or that maybe i would want to pick up in the future as for now i have no plans to return to the classroom um i really like my newfound independence i enjoy um you know waking up when i get ready i kind of enjoy working when i get ready and i don't have any immediate plans to enter back into the teaching profession but i will always be a teacher so i am going to update you on what i've been doing when i first quit my job i think what happens is that fear starts to settle in you start to become very afraid for a second and you're like oh my gosh this health insurance is expensive oh my gosh i legit don't have a traditional job anymore and for somebody who is a professional who went to school for this and who taught for 11 years that was very hard for me so i definitely had to adjust to not having a traditional job also that fear led me to online teach for like a very short period of time even though I had substantial income coming in from my blog from sponsored posts from um, the courses that I have done online a lot of you don't even know that I help online bloggers and entrepreneurs build their business I'll leave that information below and I'll talk about that a little bit in my journey of what I'm focusing on right now in my life and so I had multiple streams of income coming in from very various places. So I had a little cushion of savings and I also, obviously I'm married, so I'm always going to be taken care of. Um, but I, you know, I am, I don't want to say I'm an independent woman because no, I, I need my man and I need my husband and I also need his funds and I need, I need him, you know, but I'm very um, driven. So I wouldn't classify myself, oh, I'm an independent woman. I think that's why a lot of people can't find a man because you walking around talking about, oh, I'm an independent woman. Like, no, I'm not an independent woman. I'm a unit. And so me and my husband, we work together for the goals of our relationship. And we also work together for each our individual goals because um, I'm my own person. I have my own mind, my own needs, my own wants. And to have a career is important to me, even if it's not a traditional career. So I took a little stint at online teaching. I will leave the name of that company that I um, was hired by. It was very short lived. I loved it though. It was very exciting. It was teaching Asian students how to speak English. And while it was exciting, I found it to be just as restrictive as having a classroom teacher job. Um, also, the money wasn't quite right for me. You can make anywhere from, I think, like $12 to $20 an hour if you decide to teach English online to Asian students who are trying to learn English or even you can do it with adults. There are so many jobs out there. So I would recommend if you do want to quit your job, maybe you're a housewife or maybe you're just wanting to go back to school or going to a different direction and you're like, oh my gosh, I need some type of income. I would say teaching online can be an option for you and if you want me to do a video further on that and the companies that are available just let me know in the description box not description box the comments girl let me know in the comment section below and um, I'll you know I'll do I can do a video on alternatives to teaching in a public school classroom because um, I obviously I taught in a public school um, in a low performing school and so yeah I feel like it's a natural feeling when you quit a job you always are like what happens if you know I run out of money or if I'm not making money and you kind of have to put those thoughts out of your head and focus 
you know, you can't just pray to God and be like, God, I, I quit my job. I want you to help me. No, you got to put the work in. God's going to do nothing for you, honey. You got to put the work in. Me and my husband just had this conversation today. You know, you can't pray and not believe. You can't pray and not believe and work. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide how you want your life to play out. And I have taken control of my life. And yeah. So another question that I got was, did quitting my job coincide with me moving abroad? And no, it didn't actually. I quit my job before I had any inkling that we would move abroad. You guys, we planned it meticulously, this move, but it was done in like a six month period. It was like right around that time, I think me and my husband were talking about possibly traveling and having a lifestyle that consisted of travel. And I feel like everything just kind of fell together. God just came right in the midst with our actions and he blessed our journey and the job and everything. And really, I have to say this move has been, I think, the best decision of my life. And I'm so happy my hubby is getting his passport back soon. So we get to start traveling. So that's exciting. So now that I'm, you know, have all this time, <laughs> there's some downside to it and there's some positive to it. The downside is you really have to know how to manage your time as an entrepreneur. And um, I'm not gonna say that's my best trade, it's not. Um, I'm a free bird, I really don't like schedules, I don't like calendars, I like to fly by the seat of my pants. And when you own a business, you can't really do that. So I think I'm adjusting into learning how to use my time. It's way harder than having a traditional job. When you have a traditional job, you know how much money you're gonna make every month, you know how much money's coming in, and you know, you good, you good. But when you don't have a traditional job, you never know how much money is going to come in every month. It, it could be the same or it could be different. It goes up, it goes down. And so I think that learning to not be fearful of that and knowing that I have all the gifts and all the talents in the world to do the things that I need to do to help other people and to change the world in any way that I can is possible. And confidence and believing in yourself is really the key to overcoming your fears and your concerns about how you will earn a living. As far as me working with brands, we're in talks right now to see if I'm gonna be doing any more brand or you know blog collaborations. Blog with Kim is my baby. Um, blog with Kim is really what I'm focusing on right now. I can remember being a young blogger trying to figure out how to work with brands, how to get sponsorships, you know, how to find my place in the world because a lot of times people want to compare their success to other people. And the truth is everybody's not going to be a famous blogger. Everybody's not going to make a ton of money, but you can do what you are meant to do and earn an income from that. And so blog with Kim is me getting to a point where I've done so many things, which I don't even think I've even talked to you. Have I talked to you about these things? Okay, so I had a shoot with Cream of Nature this year. I had a huge solo um, collaboration with um, Just My Size this year. You know, that was huge. It was a whole like, a whole 24 hour photo shoot with just me. Um, it was like such a legit like professional photo shoot that I will treasure for as long as I live because um, The just my size team was amazing and they were awesome and they treated me so good um, And I've had all these sponsored posts and I've done all these different things this year um, And it, it I really just come full circle with my blog which kind of leads me to having a deeper purpose and wanting to do more than just make money as a fashion blogger. I really want to have um, an influence with new and upcoming online entrepreneurs who have online shops because I've done it all. I've had um, my own direct sales business. I still do. I do direct sales. I've done events. Um, events were exhausting so I kind of laid off doing so many events because <sighs> Um, and expensive you know I always pay for everything and so um, even though I made money and stuff like that but still you have to front the money before you can make the money um, so I kind of done a lot of different things online and I I'm an advocate for multiple streams of income now with blog with Kim I am kind of mentoring other bloggers and we have a private mastermind group I will leave the link here um, you can go there to join the private mastermind if you are a, a young blogger a new blogger maybe you own a boutique online or you want to own a boutique online or you want to do something online or use your influence to be able to make money 
please join the group it's $15 a month it's not super expensive yeah. a beginning blogger should not be paying a lot of money to get coaching or help you know because blogging is finicky you may have a really big blog or you may have a mid-level blog or just a small blog but you have something that you can offer people you have a service that you could be selling there's a product that you could be developing and that's what the block with kim mastermind group is all about and i'm really proud of it and we're growing and we have some amazing members so i would love for you to join me if you want to if you are an aspiring blogger or online entrepreneur and you want some mentoring and some help i got you girl i got you me and my husband will be doing when he's off we'll be doing a lot of traveling and so that's kind of my focus researching places trying to decide where i want to go so i think that's kind of where my life is right now with um quitting my job i do have some other ideas that i want to bring to you um on things that maybe you should think about if you're trying to change your career or quit your job um i had a career not just a job you know i taught in a public school classroom for over a decade i know right i look 21 don't i <laughs> um and it sometimes it's painful because sometimes i long to be in a classroom you know it's like i get that feeling that energy sometimes like look that like that thrill that you get from walking in a classroom and teaching but the way the american public school system is set up right now it's just not where i want to be it's just not on point and there are some good schools you know and if you work at a good school god bless you thank god every day because let me tell you if you are not in a good school under competent leadership which is what i did not have at my last school um you, if you don't have the support if the discipline is out of control if there's no vision in the school that you're working at it can be an absolute nightmare and it was for me um so now i feel free so i don't regret my decision at the six month mark i think that's where we're at the six month mark of quitting my job and we'll see where it goes um yeah so if you have any other questions about me quitting my job or uh, any, any topics that you want me to discuss about quitting my job go ahead and leave them below and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>